This is called anti-gravity, and in magic it's called the muscle pass. The muscle pass is done by getting used to having chips in your hands like this and palming it. This is a technique used in magic, coin magic specifically. This is done by taking a chip, placing it on your middle finger, and pivoting it up into your palm. Now the meaty tissue here and over here, when, they, when your fingers squeeze together like this, form an area that can hold a coin or a poker chip. It doesn't take a lot of pressure at all. A lot of people squeeze really hard and you get this really distorted hand look. You're going to have that at the beginning. It's going to look a little bit like this, but after a while, they'll start to look really natural. So just practice by placing a chip here and squeezing and just holding it. Just find the spot in your hand that seems to hold it the best. And this tissue right here is what's going to come across and squeeze. About like that. You don't have to squeeze too hard. Now the way the pass, the muscle pass, or the anti-gravity move is created is by holding your hand like this for the, for the palm, but squeezing really hard. So you hold it there lightly to hold the coin, but then if you squeeze too hard, the coin shoots across. So in magic, I shoot it across to have a coin go from one hand to another without being caught. But in the anti-gravity maneuver, it's the same thing. You're going to hold it here, and you're going to squeeze, and the coin goes up. Now that you learned the very basics of the anti-gravity, let me show you the finer points plus a couple of cool variations. One subtle secret to the anti-gravity is when you're holding it like I showed you before, when the chip releases, it absolutely has to release off the top of the chip here. Practice just getting it to pop over like so. Do not let it release from here. You'll never get the chip to go anywhere except onto the table. So release from the thumb, have it pop over, and little by little, get it to flip further and further and further. Now let's go into a couple cool variations with the anti-gravity. Instead of taking the chip and shooting up, take the chip and shoot it across into the other hand. You can actually go right into this little hole you create if you get the accuracy down to that degree. It's pretty cool to get a chip to fly to the other hand and make it exactly into a hole that's the width of a chip. Another thing I like to do is take the chip and shoot it to the fingertips of the awaiting hand. And last, this one's pretty cool. When you have a big stack of chips in front of you, you can actually ricochet the chip from one hand off your stack right into the other hand. Depending on how big your stack is, just go for your highest stack. It's pretty cool. That's the anti-gravity.